in this video i'm going to explain to you what a logo mockup is why you can download free logo mockups and how you can effectively use it to present your logos to your clients in a very creative way and this is coming up hey everybody it's innocent here welcome to the channel if you're new here please hit on the subscribe button if you're old here thank you so much for showing up before we start i want to sound this word of caution that this is not a step-by-step -step logo process design the logo has already been created we're going to look at how you can actually download mockups and how you can present it to your client so first off what is a mockup according to the dictionary a mockup is a replica of a machine or a structure that you can use for instructional or experimental purpose from this we can actually deduce the meaning of a logo mockup so basically a logo mockup is a template that you can use to present your logo designs in a more realistic and creative way so this is what i mean most logos for instance this one right here are designed on a 2d flat surfaces so we can see that this particular logo is the finished logo it is flat this is how i'm going to actually send it to the client but then with the help of a mock-up i'm actually going to be able to explain to the client that this is how it is actually going to look like when you have it on a business card this is how it is going to look like when you have it on a billboard so in actual sense you are telling the client that this is how your logo is going to look like when you place it on object or when you place it on something like a t-shirt and then it is printed out in this way you're going to give the client the impression that the logo is going to do good or look good in the real world instead of looking very flat and boring now with that said we can conclude therefore that a mock-up logo is not the same as the logo the logo is different from the mock-up in the sense that the mock-up logo isn't equal to the same logo you actually appreciate this when you start using the mock-ups very soon so this is the flat logo and something like this it's going to be like a mock-up and then you see from here that i have this particular mark that the logo has been presented on it so this is going to give the client an impression that this is how your logo is going to look like when it is on a mark now how do you download and get free mock-ups or paid mock-ups there are lots of free websites and premium website that i'm going to leave links in the description in case you want to check any of them and download some free mockups the first one is freepick and freepick is one of the most used resources personally a quick search like a logo mockup here it is going to give you like free things free mockups like this and then you can see that from the filters we have the psd we have the free vector the free here and then the premium so some of them these ones are premium you can't download them unless you pay for it and there are free ones that you can actually download like this one so for instance this particular modern hang or this hang sign here is going to send a message to your clients that this is how your logo is going to look like when it is on a sign or like it is hanged on a sign and this particular one that is the 3d modern facade sign is going to show your clients how the logo is going to look like especially when it is a test logo with that said you can use these amazing filters here to search so something like psd that is we need only the psd logo something like one that i've downloaded over here this particular one so it is going to download in a psd form that you can easily edit it and place your logos this can save you a lot of time unless otherwise you want to create it yourself step by step and use it over time so you can download free mockups from free pick and then the next website that we'll be looking at is mockup tree dot com forward slash free so you're going to download these free mockups i'll leave links in the description in case you want to check any of them so check this particular one here the 3d logo mockup this is a brilliant idea to present your logo to your clients that hey this is how your mockup is going to look like when you have it on your office glass isn't that a brilliant idea 
so the last one and of course all the other links will be in the description i'll leave a lot of them is dailymockup.com and even a quick search like logo mockup on google it's actually going to display a lot of mockups but the disadvantage of this one is that most of these ones are images you download them and later on you realize that it is an image you can't actually use it instead of getting you like a psd where you can easily manipulate it they give you a jpeg that you can't edit it so you can actually use some of the free websites that i'll leave in the description if you want to get the psd type of mockups now let's get into photoshop and see how after downloading it you can actually use it most of it than not mockups when downloaded are in the zip form so you're going to need either a winrar to actually open this one so you can open your downloaded mockup so in a zip form so you can actually open it from here and then you can actually see the video that i made step by step on how to actually use mockup in general this has been limited to logo mockups but then in that video i explain a lot more on mockups so you can extract this particular psd so you can see that the png files has been added to it as well as the psd logo we are interested in a psd logo so you can extract it to any destination of your choice and that is where i actually extracted the coffee mug mockup here so let's get into photoshop now here in photoshop mostly the mockup is in a smart object and mostly they write on it so it says edit me here you can actually open this one so when you double click on the smart object it is going to open up a smart object that you can place your logo straight here without having to do anything so i've already designed a logo let me just go and bring this one here so this is the logo png2 you drag it into photoshop like that and then you can leave it here now as far as possible you should try to make your logo in the same size with the original logo design because that is the only way it can actually fit just like you saw it in what you downloaded so you can open up your logo like that and then from there you can easily turn off the first one so you can turn off this one and now you have only your logo available there so from there you just head over to this sign here and then you close it up and then you press yes or you click on yes and then when you get back to your logo you realize that automatically it has replaced whatever was there with your logo i think this is so simple and of course you can actually change the brightness here you can double click on it so this psd file is fully editable only for some of the websites you would have to give credit when you use this kind of uh, mockups or you would have to pay for it if you don't want to give any kind of credit so this is very simple additionally you can even open it up and then add something like a test so you can scale this one down like that and then you can add a test to it from here that is when you are done with the logo everything so let me add a test here and then you can open it up so something like that once you're done all that you need to do is you close it up and then you save as yes and then it is going to reflect on your mock-up it is as simple as that now let's take a look at the second mock-up that i have over here this was actually a mock-up that i downloaded so this is the mock-up itself so your test or your logo whatever you want to place here you're going to double click on that now for some mock-ups you see that this one is different from the first one that we open such that this is bigger and then the place that you're going to or the space that you're going to place your logo is very small and so you need to check all of these so i'm going to use this particular logo to illustrate this one so when you open this logo you realize that i've already grouped it but this is the actual step-by-step -step logo that was created and then you realize that this one has a background but the mock-up logo that i have over here doesn't actually this is actually a logo i designed but this one doesn't have a background so what you do is you're going to make sure that the logo that you're bringing in is transparent that is it is in a png form so you're going to turn off the background 
so that you can get the transparency and then you can use the shortcut control shift alt and then e to merge it all up and you can have it as a single one like this so you see that this one you can move it to your mock-up without any hesitation and then you take your time press ctrl t to transform this one out like that now note something here this particular logo contains a heart that is white you actually leave it like that but when you save it so let's go to save and then you save it and then let's go to the prime train smoke up here okay we actually forgot to turn off the other one so let's open that one turn off this one and let's save it so this is how it looks like the hat part isn't showing why because let's open again you see that the hat part has the white background which means that it will not be able to be seen by the mock-up so what you do is you can use something like the quick magic selection or the magic one here to get rid of it and then you can press ctrl d from here now let's go ahead and save this smart objects and let's wait for it to reflect in our mock-up and then you can see that this has been represented very neatly so this goes on to say that if you have a background for instance the one that we just edited or removed it means that it is not going to be seen by the mock-up and it is going to create something like a flat d not showing or representing the full type of logo that you've created so in as much as possible always try to make your logos in png before you send it on any mock-up so that it can actually display and present the actual logo and how it is going to look on the mock-up let's take a last example here this is the another logo mock-up that you can download i'll leave all the links in the description in case you want to download any of these so just like any other one we're going to double click on this one and then you see that this particular mock-up has the reflection it is the reflection type of mock-up right so instead of the first ones that we used any logo or any test that you want to bring in this one it would have to be reflected so that i can actually see it from the perspective that you are you, are, you want it now this is what i mean let's turn this one off choose our test tool and then we're going to write something like you know graphics let's open this one up to be very bold like that and let's even turn it to the bold so we're going to position it in the middle so we center it horizontally and vertically now when you move ahead and then you close this one you are actually expecting a straight you know graphics like that but let's see so you realize from here that this particular mock-up is reflected so this is what it actually implies that anytime you're done with something especially a test you have to press ctrl t right click and then you're going to flip it in the horizontal way so after we flip it let's save it and let's see what we actually get so now it actually shows the exact type that we want you can actually go ahead and then you add something like let's say a circle so i'm going to draw a circle here and i'm going to position it in the middle like that i'm going to change the color to white and i'm going to right click and rasterize the layer now i'm going to pick my rectangular marker tool and i'm going to cut off the parts that i want the test to display so the test here and i'm going to delete it on the ellipse so i'll press ctrl d and then let's save this one and see how it actually reflects on the mock-up and there you have it a very simple logo i think this this was like a very simple illustration to how you can easily make a very simple logo in photoshop what do you think so this is how you actually represent your logo on a mock-up very simple and very very efficient and finally it is not only the mock-up that you can actually temper on you can actually temper on the lights the shades how you actually want it you can edit this once that is mostly for the free type of mock-ups but most of them that requires attributes if you temper on any of these we'd have to actually give credit so if you buy it for the premium ones you can actually do anything that you want to do it you can actually change the background 
or even change the color of the background using the hue and saturation here so how your mockup should actually look like depends totally on you and then you can use this to like i said in the beginning explain to your clients or present it to your clients that this is how your mock-up is going to i think in this illustration the one that resonates with the real world thing is the mark over here so how you know graphics logo is going to look like on a mark now if this is something that you really want to see it come through you can actually support the channel i'll leave a link in the description so that we can make this come to life and that's it the final thought the mock-up is not the actual logo it is just a way to present your logos to your clients so you don't actually design your logo and you have it in the flat 2d like this and then you actually send this one to your clients as the logo it is not done anywhere please don't do that thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video let me know in the comment section if this was in any way helpful to you and if you want to see more of such videos and especially on logo designs thank you so much and i'll see you guys in the next one it's innocent here and bye